Hi, I'm Doc Hollywood. In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about Facebook Blaster Pro version 705 and how you can use this Facebook marketing software on the fastest growing social network, and that's Facebook. This software has uh, a handful of new features, and we will go ahead and demonstrate that in this video so that you can use it for your campaign. But why Facebook? Well, if you go to Alexa.com, the web information company, you'll see when you click on top sites, you'll see that Facebook is the number two website in the world for internet traffic. And that's important because as an internet marketer, you want to do two things. You want to divert and convert. You want to divert traffic from wonderful traffic sources like Facebook and then you want to convert by directing that traffic to your landing page, your squeeze page, your video page, product page, conference page, um, or whatever you're trying to promote to convert that user into a paying customer, period. So let's go ahead and run this software and get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log into your Facebook account using your marketing application, Facebook Plaster Pro. I'll go ahead and do that. And the good news is, if I don't want to keep signing in, what I do is I click Save New. It says, are you sure you want to add a new account? You click Yes. And so that I don't have to sign in every single time I run the application. It will be saved here, and I just click on it. It populates the field, and I can go ahead and log in. Okay? So let's go ahead and log in. Now, the first new feature that we added to Facebook Blaster Pro was running the browser inside the app or running the browser outside the app. Okay? Um, if you have this ticked, you'll be running the browser outside the app, which I believe is much faster, okay? But some people prefer running the browser inside the app. So let's go ahead and log in. You'll know it's logging in because you'll see that these fields populating here, and we are logged into my Facebook profile in the background here running on Internet Explorer. It does not work on Firefox. Maybe in the near future. Okay? So we're logged in. So let's go ahead and do gather IDs. Let's learn that first. And we're going to gather IDs from our target market, which is either from groups or a fan page. Let me show you an example of gathering IDs from your target group. First thing you want to do is you want to go and use the external Internet Explorer browser. Click on your account. Go to Application Settings. And then what you want to do is you want to click on groups that you have added yourself to that you found to be perfect for your target market for your particular product or service. So let's say I have a BlackBerry credit card app and I want to market it to... BlackBerry cell phone owners. I would click on the group first. You want to go inside the group first. Scroll down and then what you want to do is you want to click on members. You click on that and then you get a pop-up. Now with this offer on the gather ID tab make sure you have gather IDs from all pages ticked and then all you got to do is press Gather ID. And it works on autopilot. You can go get a cup of coffee. You can go run an errand, go wash your car, take a shower, go do something else, and come back. And this software will be working on autopilot. And that's the key to your success. And it's adding. It's just added 80 and it's just going to keep on going and going and going and going to where you feel you have a sufficient amount 
of leads and then you can go ahead and do a friend request or whatever but this is how you gather IDs using the angle of gathering the IDs from groups for a particular target market and it's actually not to scale here the IDs are actually coming in faster than it's actually recording and then this number of 80 is going to change possibly to maybe uh, 100, 150 or something like that. But you can see it working in the, in the background and it's going to keep on doing that. And there it is, it's starting to import them in. So let's go ahead and show you how to gather IDs from a fan page. Now the best example for gathering IDs on the fan page would be, let's say, let's say I'm a club owner on Miami South Beach, Miami Beach, and I just uh, signed a deal with Lady Gaga and she's going to do an appearance at my nightclub. And what we want to do is we want to target all members of the Lady Gaga fan page within a particular region, and that is South Florida. So let's go ahead and do that. By using the external browser, we we'll go ahead and close this out. And then what we'll do, in the search box, we'll put Lady Gaga, and there she is right there, Lady Gaga. So let's go to that. And we're going to her page and there she is so what you want to do now is you want to click on how many people like this because that is the target market right they really like like Lady Gaga and this group would be the perfect set of people to market your Lady Gaga appearance in your nightclub so you do that by clicking on the people which is next to the like this text right here. So we click on that and we get a pop-up and this software rocks. You do the same exact thing. You make sure the gather IDs from all pages is ticked and all you do is click gather IDs and you'll see the, ga the uh, program working in the background. So let's go ahead and do that and boom there it is. It's working in the background here. It starts to scrape and gather all of those targeted leads for your business again it works on autopilot now you can get a cup of coffee you can go play some golf go wash your car and there it is it's starting to uh, import them you can go run an errand and just leave your computer on and come back and this software will be working on autopilot it's that simple and you can see it working in the background going to keep on gathering those IDs so that you can promote your event and it can be any type of event a conference uh, a theater a, a play whatever you want to promote it's right here waiting for you Facebook Blaster Pro version 705 and it's going to go ahead and bring in those new IDs that it just scraped Again, the software is actually working faster in the foreground than it is in the background. And if you're patient, you'll see it'll start to import these IDs. So that's how you gather IDs from a fan page. And you can just leave it on to infinity. Now let's go ahead and show you how to do friend requests. So you just gathered some potential leads for your Lady Gaga event at your nightclub and you want to you want to become friends with those leads that you gathered from the Lady Gaga fan page so now you want to send them friend requests but you can't do that from the gather IDs tab you have to do that from the friend request tab and there's no IDs there so to do that since you just gather them here with the gather ID tab you want to import them to the next tab and you can do that by scrolling down and importing them well the default is already set at friend request so all you got to do is click import 
And bingo, it's here. Type in a nice message. Your profile is cool, let's say. And then what you want to do is now you want to start sending these Lady Gaga leads a friend request. And you do that by clicking start. And it starts to work in the background. Here it is right here. It's going to add the friend. So it's going to say your profile is cool and it's working on autopilot. And then it's going to go to the next one. And it's just going to keep on doing that. all on autopilot and there it is right here this is the next one it's gonna send a message it's doing it at a nice slow pace so that it looks like a human's doing it and it's doing the next one and it's gonna keep on going and going and going and this software rocks it works on autopilot we're gonna do one more and there it is right there and I'll go ahead and stop because you get the message and it's going to go ahead and send that friend request this software rocks and it's going to scroll down one at a time so let's go ahead and stop now let's go ahead and show you how to use the messenger feature where you can send a message to all of your fans or your potential leads in Facebook so let's go ahead and try it Okay, so you want to start sending your targeted leads a message. And let's say, for instance, with the Lady Gaga appearance, you want to send them a message maybe uh, the night before and or the night of uh, the event. So what you want to do is uh, you would, with the gathered IDs, you would import those to uh, the messenger. And I've already done that. Uh, and I put a sample message here for instance and then I would just click send to send those IDs messages and you can see in the background that it's going to go ahead and start to send a message this software rocks and it's loading the page to send a message and it's going to send a message to this gentleman here and it's going to go ahead and do it all on autopilot your message has been sent. This software rocks. I'm going to go ahead and stop it because you get the message. And you do the same exact thing for uh, wall poker or wall poster, sorry. And what you would do is from the gather IDs, you would import them to wall poster, hit import, and you can type your, your message, click send, and it would start poking those people with a message. My name is Doc Hollywood. I hope this video tutorial was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can go to the help desk, stealthfriendbomber.com forward slash help desk. And I'll see you guys on the other side.